why do men feel like they have to try getting in the pants of every girl question they is what's your take on masturbating Ad is there i think is there any advantage and disadvantage about it what's going on you guys it's your boy legacy and i'm back with another video if you guys are new welcome to the family welcome to the gang i hope you guys love this video in today's video i will not only be answering questions that girls are afraid to ask guys but i feel like some of the questions are a bit unisex and can go for both genders so if you guys do like this video remember to leave a like comment share and subscribe also please watch the video till the end because i have a special announcement at the end my nose me always uh talk a lot in the video them really want to make some video with me not have to sit down all the time and talk and thanks to my mom i can actually make more content because she helped me to get an ipad which we can't get to do this video so without further ado let's get into this video all right so before i get into answering the questions this is basically my perspective it can be different for other persons including guys and females everybody have their own opinion about this this is just my opinion based on my understanding of the situation or the question so don't come in the comments and be like oh blah 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 we all know so everybody speak for themselves and i'm just speaking for me based on the questions that were asked so the very first question is why are males shying away from marriage and education all right so this is a one two-part question and this question it can go anywhere take you but basically what i say first part is march my opinion about marriage is that it's not really something where you just get up and just get into it it's something that it takes two persons to do you see me so you see if you're gonna get up and you're gonna decide to marry somebody my opinion get to know the person if you have a deeper understanding don't just get up and be like oh Maybe you know a person for a few months, few years, sometimes it even take a longer time than a few years to figure out this person because sometimes they're not really sure their true color until like we are weird done when they don't say yo, I'm serious, I'm this a person here. Yeah. And that's just my opinion based on relationships or marriages that I've seen in with my eyes, okay? So for my opinion, um why are males shying away from marriage? Basically, in a Jamaica, men don't really stay in the marriage fathers kind of go and it happens in more countries but i'm talking about jamaica for males actually leave most relationship and leave like the wife or the mother with the kids and then that just kind of break up in marriage and then there's so much that can be said about that that it would be a very very long video that's just focused about marriage but my opinion is that it's not all the time that guys are shying away because they want to it's just because of what they've been experiencing as a child not seeing a stable relationship they don't have something to say oh my parents did have a stable relationship a stable marriage so i can look forward to having a stable one in the future from my opinion i'm not sure if i would ever consider married maybe like 70 30 thought space about it just because um missing myself getting married but sometimes who knows sometimes things happen down the line and it just don't work out when it come on to education now, it's not that guys don't want to be educated, it's just that in a Jamaica it's really hard to get up, say you go do education, you go go tertiary university, college or whatever it is because there's really not a lot of jobs that pays you, even as a male, as a female, it don't really matter but as a male there's not really much people that want to hire you. Females kind of have a little bit more advantage from my perspective because they're able to flex, they're more flexible in certain areas where they can't do a certain work where a guy just don't see themselves doing. So it's, sometimes it's not really say we are shy away from um, education. It's just that some people look at it as they're just going to go to school for years and years and years and it just don't make no sense because I end the idea, nobody not going to hire themselves for most people. I see them really like the sports. Guys I mostly see the sports because at least they can say if they never get a full education, they can at least fall back on sports. But in my opinion, I feel like it is for just push through, still go to school, still get your stuff. I get my associate degree, which I'm very proud. When I do my bachelor's degree, I have my last year, but I might not get to do it right now just because of certain circumstances, which is not me shying away. But as I say, any anything really in life can like mess up you not getting the education we want. So it's not that we don't want education, it's just that some guys look at it as a bigger picture. When you're done school, there's not really a work that you can actually get. 
and it don't really make sense you just kill yourself kill money and time and energy on something that you might not see in the future being there for you so that's just my opinion about marriage and education as a guy we don't really shy away from it it's just that we don't see what you're gonna do in the future so yeah next question what are some qualities that guys or males look for in a partner um for me she have to be funny me not like me can't stay with a boring girl she have to be funny she have to know if you like go one go out not one girl would just go out every day but at the same time if she go out every once in a while me really don't have a problem if she want to go with her friends them we don't really have a problem me remember somebody asked me one question like if you were with Diara, would you let her like take pictures where she's just in a bikini to be honest me trust whoever me gonna call my partner and whoever me gonna call my girlfriend you know if you know say yo sometimes you probably need to cover up the based on whichever event and then what else persons look for what else i look for specifically since the question was towards me we look for a girl we have our head on our body not all guys will because some guys want some yummy girl but me i like when my girl them educated i like when they're smart i like when they know what they want and one thing, I can give you a simple thing for guys. Tell you what you want. Guys don't really guess what girls want. We can't really read the environment and be like, oh, that's what she want. So when you kind of like tell we point blank, hey, sometimes they just have to sleep. You know, it. Sometimes we don't really know exactly what we want. But when we realize, say, hey, when we talk, we easy have to do it. Sorry about that. Somebody was at the door and I mean, we run go. Answer it, but my auntie went feet answer it. What we look for in our girls, we look for girls with smart. We look for girls with they're not always a father in friend because some girls just father in friend completely and so it just pissed me off. Me personally it pissed off. Me like one girl we know exactly what she wants and I feel I depend upon like our friend name for influence her. Um I like girls with ambition. If you don't have no ambition, don't talk to me. Don't even look in my direction. I'm not gonna look for you. But kinda look for a girl where it's not like it hard to get her but at the same time she set one standard where she want from me and if me don't match a standard she just not gonna narrate down just particularly for me for most guys they just look for a girl where they can find um some joy in being that they find them funny they find them nice they find them some certain stuff being something that you can't really bond with like someone you can like not only be a girlfriend but also your friend because sometimes in other senses like we don't just want one girlfriend, we want one friend who can like play video games with, who can like chill with, and you know, always have to be one bicker in our just about different stuff, you know? But that's just my opinion on it. That's what we kind of look for in our partner. Be really finding kind of girl, but that's how it goes sometimes. The third question is What's your take on shaving body hair, shaving or unshaved? Particularly for me, I'm mean, like when we have women too hairy, like underarm, ear, chest, ear, you know, down there, so ear. More likely if you say shave. And if you're a female, please shave. It don't look good. Like, imagine you wear something where, like, strapless, that's what they call it. Fill up your arm, you just have to bush. It just don't sit right, right with me. But that's everyone's preference. But for me, it doesn't look like it because one, sometimes they see deodorant and cake up underneath. They sometimes the hair just poke out underneath your shirt. Remember seeing a girl like that? That's a turn off for me. I mean, I care what nobody have to say turn right off me bring it to a barber if me have to and just make it just shave but again you have to kind of like what's the word compromise but at the same time hygiene is a must i mean, just feel like a girl will carry herself with full hygiene and not saying if you don't shave you're not bringing yourself with hygiene but taking care of yourself yourself and taking the extra steps to taking care of yourself kind of does play a huge part in persons looking towards you because a guy might be looking towards you and because probably your breath inside no probably because you see one by a bush inside no but it depends really on what the guys are because some people are very very weird some people like people with no shave some people like them shave but for me i am a guy i love when they shave everywhere the next question is what's your take on masturbating and is there i think is there any advantage and disadvantage about it Personally, for me, again, um, I don't really like it. I don't really partake in it. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Either. And I know this is kind of TMI. But guess what, man? Probably like somebody big brother right now. My take on it is 
there is not anything wrong with masturbating it's just something that you do because probably you're just honey probably i don't really know what figure you say all right so what's my take being honest it's okay in my books because sometimes you're probably not there with somebody and I want to go be one of them persuaders that jump from partner to partner because you know regularly it fits cycle down and then sometimes you really just want to save yourself there's some guys that are still in this world that want to save themselves for marriage but my take on it is there's a disadvantage and an advantage advantage you kind of learn more about your body when you do this you know where if it touches yourself and where you don't want to like what turns you on basically it, it teaches yourself what turns you on and what turns you off the disadvantage is that some people kind of like oh do it when they just like morning you know night they just did it and they just like do it over and over and over and this is not only for girls no sorry this is not only for guys this is also for girls it kind of builds a higher sex drive where sometimes you can't find a partner we're gonna match it because you outmatch everybody else because this is something that you do over and over and over and over and it just come like one repetition and you just keep doing it and you might end up being like oof touching me here just don't do it like one time and it does happen so my advice is to kind of like understand what you really do because you have to understand so when you do this you have this feeling for your guy me i'll be honest for your guy once you do it it's like there is something called post not clarity when you, after you're not it's like why me did they ever do this so basically there is advantage and disadvantage advantage you keep yourself good you keep yourself clean from anything that other person might pass along during sexual intercourse um disadvantage you make it a repetition you make it a part of your life where you can't live without it and then you just have to do it every single day over and over and over and that's where it becomes like something bad something that i would say stick away from and there's just so much about it that you really just really need to understand and read up more about it so that's just my take on it on disadvantage and advantage the next question is who deals with cheating better males or females this one is kind of like a bittersweet truth and the truth is females deal with cheating better than males a guy we can't just cheat with any anybody really and then i have no feelings towards the person when i'm a cheat with and just do it because they just want to do it right and then when a girl cheat on a guy it's like it hits something it hit like a nerve that guess what you messed up so much that you no longer can give her the affection or the love that she needs so she have to find it somewhere else and that's where you feel like shit to be honest because when a guy get up and just be like oh I accidentally cheat sorry me cheat on somebody or me cheat on this girl me know for a very long time it really don't have much energy much emotion into doing it with that person that they're cheating with but when a girl cheat on a guy you know say it over she not look back on you she not love you again she not want you if you think relationship gonna go back to how it was it not gonna go back because one the guy mentality made mash up like crazy mash up the girl now she no longer wants you because in her, her eyes she just like a focus on the guy where she did cheat on because now that guy has probably her attention some girls it reached down to their heart and for me me just feel like if me cheat it just means i mean it's time for me deep from that and if a guy or a girl cheats on someone i feel like if you just take a step back analyze the situation see if you don't have no fault even though i have no really reason for like continue because me I'll be honest if a person cheat once they're more likely going to cheat again because whatever was the problem that caused the cheating gonna cause them to cheat again but like me say guys this is my personal opinion on it you know when nobody that attack me and i thought about oh just as a shit this is just my opinion on it if you don't agree i just say go but if you do agree please leave a like comment share and subscribe probably help somebody else understand a little bit more come know so there's a lot of videos where there's guys well sorry where there's girls having girls talk but there's not a lot of videos about guys and how to understand them because right now i just feel like everybody really confused and girls don't understand guys guys do not understand girls and these are just some of the questions that that just flow through their brain when it happened to them and they just really want one answer towards it but this is just my opinion on it 
it might be for different reasons it depends on what caused the cheating so basically that's it the next question and i love this question because we see it happen so many times why do men feel like they have to try get in in the pants of every girl thing? all right first of all i know everybody i know every guy i know every man there's a some guys that all right perspective my perspective if for me when we did younger nobody didn't really want me so when it's like you get so much attention now you just you just don't know what to do with it so you end up like oh as a girl just talk to me i'm just probably she just want it and then because some of the girls don't really talk some of them want to be with the guy or want to do certain stuff with the guy but i'm not really talk so them know they start look good probably and start exercise probably then get one look go up and they feel like they might eat so they start going like them are idiot me not telling like me get my chance you know that the stupid dilemma they wear kind of mess up a lot of stuff but we still cool and it's like we move from being an ugly person to being somebody that people can say yo you know saying that boy that they look nice you would do it right now if somebody still tell me we really would not believe but it just come to part that it's not every guy but the reason why then it's probably because of what happened in the past nobody never warned them no everybody warned them they don't know what to act they don't know what to do and they end up just being like this kind of person who just hurt people because they did hurt before and at the past so basically it's like a hurt for her which is not right it's not right at all so i would say just talk to the person see what happened because sometimes it really rooted in you know, what happened in the damn past and if you guys have a different opinion probably a different guy my comment down below on some of the questions are some of the questions that I'm answer to and you give you an opinion that probably can help out somebody else I'll just keep it flowing and you know guy talk just a small guy talk what do you guys consider a good woman to be um for me may I be honest a good woman would I consider to be like it kind of rough to answer that question that without being like all right may I try for me, one woman I consider a good woman, somebody with me knows I can vibe with, somebody who knows I she have my back. Like, somebody when I have your focus on social media where they might try to get this social media relationship where it's like everything they want to post on social media. I'm like, that the kind of woman. I don't want one woman with like everything surrounded with uh, social media where they have to like dress up, they have to look the best, they have to, like, sometimes when me see you know, a big t shirt, trust me, you're still cute. But if me see every minute you're just like trying to be or reflect to be on some be somebody else, but just don't consider it to be a good woman because you don't even consider yourself to be good enough for me because you're trying to be good enough for the world, you're trying to be good enough for social media, YouTube, Instagram, and trust me, as a guy, me used to try to be good enough for every single person because when I try to say, all right, they like me like this, they like when I smile, they like when I'm serious, they like when I'm here, do this, how you me. It just pretty much be too much and it just make it just not work out so for me a good woman would I say she have your back you know can't meds you know can't think and sit down and just like plan on the future together you know to make social media like depict what exactly you know to do you know can't at least like sit down and talk to the guy and be like hey this not work out this not work out this not make me feel good like a girl who communicate is really a good girl that you're supposed to keep in your back and not just some girl with just like she not have her head on her body so i hope so that answer your question a little bit clear for somebody if not again this is just my opinion on the situation i never read over the question name this is just how me feel me just a talk you see me okay so this question kind of links about the marriage what are your thoughts on polygamy polygamy if i pronounce it right now basically what my come to on polygamy is when you're in a relationship and you're married and you have two more than one partner right so my opinion on it the world is changing the world is getting a bit different where persons not only like more than one person but persons are actually marrying getting married to more than one person so my opinion on it my take on it, I probably would not, but who knows? Probably something that we can't experiment with, may not know it yet. But but we don't really know a full understanding of it. But my take is it depends on you and the person. If you're going to say the relationship only works because there's more than one person in a relationship, leave that relationship. Me would I leave a relationship because 
that just I say if somebody else not even it did it, we can't go forward. If somebody else don't add value to the relationship, we can't move. And to me, mm-mm. if me not good enough for you, just kick stone. Me not business where you want to go, but kick rock. So you have to go. Because to me, it just feel like I am just not good enough. But then again, it can be different for somebody else. Probably you must say, it's not that you're not good enough, but they just want a little bit of more spice in a relationship, so they end up at those certain stuff. But it all comes down to you and your partners or partner. If it's a partner that you had before and you want to realize that, yo, probably if I drop one more person in it, it would have worked out or, you know. So it's really a really hard question for me if you answer come. I really never think of myself being married to more than one person. We always say one person married. It don't work out, it don't work out. That's the end of that relationship and moving forward. And I think I have one more question. If I don't, I'll just move along to the last part of the video. I hope you guys are enjoying this video. I hope I answer some of the questions I want to really love. Also, follow me on all my social medias below. They will be under this video. They will be in the description. So when you can follow me, let's get me to like 2K on Instagram. 2K. I think we can do that. Also, may I try to make this uh, announcement here right here but probably after the question we we'll make the announcement so stay tuned if you guys are enjoying this video please remember to leave a like comment share and subscribe and if you're new thank you guys yeah i guess that was the last question all right so if you guys made it to the end of this video thank you guys so much for watching this video tell me which part i fear part tell me which question you feel like was the best response to that question if you guys have an opinion about what i said please leave it down below. I will be reading each and every one of them. I might not respond, but I try if you interact with them as best as possible and feel like get it more time a comfort zone. And with that being said, if you guys are excited for this good news, I hope you guys are. Hopefully this video dropped before the good news. If not, there is a part two of this good news, which is first, I have partnered up with two, not one, but actually two YouTubers, Janine Lu, Janelle Robinson, I'll be leaving the links to their YouTube channel in the description. As I was saying, sorry, I'll be leaving their links in the description. What is really going on is that Janelle Lu is celebrating her 100,000 subscribers on YouTube. And because of that, she and Janelle, her best friend, will be doing a giveaway to three lucky prize winners. So I won't be telling you exactly what first, second, or third will be getting other than first place will be getting 10,000 Jamaican dollars. Second place to find out and third place, you have to go up on my Instagram. We brand new Instagram, like the picture, go on theirs, like their pictures, comment winner down below. I'm not even sure if it's winner, I forgot. But just follow the instruction on all of our pages. For all of our sponsors, I'm just a sponsor. I will not be doing this giveaway personally for my channel. I'll be doing a giveaway at 5k. So if you guys want a giveaway, especially the guys, since this giveaway is more for the females. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe so I can get to at least 5k before the end of this year so I can give you guys a giveaway. For the females, how I will be helping out these females, I will be having 10 persons or probably 10 to 20 persons liking 10 lucky winners comment under Janelle Lou and Janelle Robinson for your chance to win first, second, or third place prize. So if you want to be able to win this prize, all you have to do to get my help with the 20 plus likes is to like, comment, share, and subscribe this video. Like it, comment, share, and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram. Share this YouTube video or any video of your choice. Comment under any YouTube video that you choose winner and legacy gang and i will make sure to see the first 10 persons that i will be selecting randomly literally gonna put in a name in a like something that is shaky select then 10 person and help these 10 persons to get 20 more likes just so they can be either first second or third or have a better chance to win this giveaway this giveaway and the winners to the giveaways will be announced on october 1st so if you guys are not yet in it probably too late but still See if you can get some more people who like it, please don't use no bot, be a fear person, like it, comment, talk some people and try to get more people and now you have a chance to get 20 people more if you like your comment. All you have to do, follow the instruction. 
if the instruction was not clear enough i'll also have it in my bio so all you have to do click my bio read it do what the instructions say and you will have your chance to win first second or third place giveaway also i'll be doing a giveaway as i said when i once i'm at 5k so i love you guys thank you guys so much for watching i hope i answered some of your questions just like what you probably think if you guys did i'll see you in the next video peace